All right. Hey, everyone. Welcome to Report. Like, subscribe, tell your friends, tell your friends' friends, and tell those friends again. And also um, do the bell notification so you figure out when we come back out. Um, first of all, I'm going to start this episode quickly with a quick shout out to Roma. Yo, Manzum, check this video out. Like, oh, man. So, a whole <laughs> Girl, I hope your daddy doesn't own a gun If he does, and I'm done from the things that you're doing to me <laughs> Got him impressed <laughs> Girl. Wait, hold on a second, what yeah, happened? You, you just caught that, bro? <laughs> you just caught that? You didn't see this? You realize that? Yo, shout out to Rova. When I seen that, I'm like, yo, we have to watch that quickly. I'm dying. Yo, hold on, hold on. Run that back one more time for us. Oh, I'm so sorry to our audience, bro. <laughs> like, oh, man. Well, I hope your daddy doesn't own a gun. If he does, and I'm done from the things that you're doing to me. Magic, bro. Got him impressed. Ta-da! Jesus. <laughs> Take Jesus the wheel. Jesus is Christ. Yo, Take she pulled. Yo, you remember in um, Dark Knight where the Joker made the black guy eat the pencil? Yeah. Yo, that was that right there. Bro, <laughs> don't, you know. <laughs> Yo, her body count is not. No, 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 all right, so <laughs> wow, shout out to Roma for that one. I like that video, yeah. But, anyway, yo, we're back. It's the report, it's a Wednesday night. We're chilling, everything's good. And guess what, people? I'm gonna start us off here quickly with the biggest news happening in the world. The world boss himself has been released. Da -da -da -da! Yo. Watch me skin with this cake. So, yo, you guys don't even know. The world boss is back. <laughs> Next summer, all winter, he's going to come up with Christmas jams, everything. Vibes Cartel is out of jail. And he is going, yo, look, look at this, look at this. Boom. World boss. Yo, go to your Instagram yo. right now. I just send the, showed Sorry. you the video of this world man being again. home. Bro, let me tell you, Jamaica is going to, we have to go to Jamaica in... One and a half weeks to independence, or what's it called? Yeah, yeah, Dream Weekend's happening. Dream Weekend's too. happening, and it's going to be the biggest thing ever. Are you mad, Bretchen? Vibes Cartel is home? Have you seen the Girl, tickets just now? Dead. As soon as they this released him, I... the tickets went out 20%. <laughs> of course, bro. There's not going to be an Airbnb. There's not going to be nothing left for Dream Weekend, yo. It's going to be the biggest moment in, in Jamaica history in the last 20 years. No cap. Trust me. What is going on? God is home. That's the boss home, Reggie. And that's the boss here. It's not one of Baka. This guy already is. Watch your boss. Okay. Watch your boss. <laughs> yo, all I'm saying is, yo, all on all on all all reggae artists would have would have run the place before. Yo, your time is numbered. That's all I'm saying to all the man them who already had the the, the Yo, place and time, your number is done. <laughs> yeah, man, your vacation done. Yo, now, no, for, but here's the thing. Now you don't feel work. Now, now we're gonna see though who he's allied with. Because realistically, if you're allied with cartel, it's gonna be up. But if you're not, <laughs> I have some serious. You have you have a serious awakening. No, we haven't even seen this right now. Let's hop in the comments quickly. Look at this. Yo, right here. What does it say? The goat is free. Yo, come on. This guy's probably African. He's not even Jamaican, bro. <laughs> this <laughs> goat is free. This guy's trying, oh, trying to bro, this guy's trying to manifest his light skin bro, energy. Vegeta's there charging up right there. Hands up, yo. <laughs> yo, trust me. Welcome home, father. Yo, all everyone's glad Jamaica's gonna be lit. Gaza. It was right here. Look, look, look. Gaza. Yo, we forgot about Palestine already. <laughs> <laughs> yo. <laughs> You guys don't understand. 
Oh, yeah, I'm trying to tell you, it's going to be a party like no other. And not to mention, it's going to also see that his worth ethic is still there because he was making so much tracks from jail. So I can only imagine what's going to happen to the reggae scene now. Yo, we're going to three fets. I'm telling you that from now, as soon as the new stuff hits, yo, we have to roll, roll. We're going to find you a nice fat thing to bubble on, eh? What? Yo, you, you best be ready. You see this fierce? Yo, you must be ready. Just yeah, I gotta deal with gonna be a who are you? Theory. So bring your girlfriend too. Because like it's gonna be a serious, serious thing. Like just put it this way: all of the like, if you think about the the currency of reggae music in the last couple of years, it's been growing. Adding the artists like Skilly Bang and like putting out the stuff that he's been sent to and mm. all of the other artists right now, they've been actually making a move. Adding Fada vibes right now only means that the movement gets bigger. Hip hop, to some degree, is kind of slipping in its airplay. You have drill music from the from the British side taking over on certain airways, but one thing is always consistent: it's reggae music and dancehall music at the forefront. And having him home only makes that more possible for every new artist now to push even harder. Yeah, I found the thing for right here, bro. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> you you are terrible, Mr. Krabs is. Dumb. Daughter, you're wiling. But she, she she comes from <laughs> money. Swag. She <laughs> comes from money still. So Yo, can you imagine that? Can you imagine that big ass forehead in a wall just bubbling up on row? <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus. That's okay. You don't have to worry about me still. This is marvelous news for all my Jamaicans out there. You know, I'm gonna have to come back to Mandeville. It's a party. Let's go. It's gonna be a serious, serious time. What? Let me hop over to our next news, and we're going to talk briefly about the U.S. election. Like, Many men no. wish death upon me, blood in my eyes, dog, and I can't Jerry see. <laughs> The people's <laughs> champ himself. Look at that. Yo, look Fist at the, yo, Fist in the air, yo. Let's go. So my whole question is, how is he holding up against... We already know he's going up against. He's going against Harris, aka the Terminator. It's you a wrap, bro. It is a wrap. He already. It's already preordained. Like, harder faces, bro. She Yo, diamonds, bro. It's already, it's already pre preordained. Simpsons predicted it. It's gospel. That's what's happening, <laughs> bro. He won the second. And I repeat to you, the second that shooting attempt happened, Trump already won. I don't know what's the numbers, Pams. Oh, I'm gonna have to look it up. Give me a second. A second. So, because you know you're gonna get a lot of people being like, "Oh, Simpsons did it. We have to make it so women president." Da da da. Why not? Then why wouldn't you go with Hillary? as the first one. Because Hillary couldn't pull off the purple dress. Like, have you not seen the comparison meme with Lisa <laughs> Simpson? Like, bro, colored, colored. Lisa's yellow. She's yellow. Like she mix up, mix up. She yellow. She she she. Yeah. she. So you know what? One to one correlation. Let's go. Oh, fair enough, man. I mean, but here's the thing. I've also been looking at a few like little side projects, like kind of diving into the conspiracy a little bit. You know, me and 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 the overall watching the what's weird and a lot of um people who've come out some of them being um former uh former seals uh former snipers have said that the shooting itself doesn't make a lot of sense from a tactical standpoint in the sense that like the rifle he's using the distance to where he is not to mention people seeing who that oh, was neck and neck holy yeah. shit oh but it was neck it's always Harris been like yo, that this though. one has harris harris up so I mean, yeah but 48 47, that's, 47, that's, 48, that's 60. Really, that's yeah. really polling. That's just mean who, who are home. Trump people are home. Right yeah. yeah, man. That just means people are home. They're, that undecided vote is huge. Pennsylvania, means, get out. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. I mean, it just comes down to, like, realistically, the qualities of America. And I think that Trump, like, I'm not a Trump fan, but I can recognize this, that he has more of what, america wants as a valued leader right now than harris does it's quite simple he's a lot more strong in his word he is he, he may not give you a policy but he is a so entertaining and so has the ability to galvanize his people that they're ready to go to war right now without him even doing anything you know in all honesty there's a higher probability that camilla will have to go to war in any capacity than john trump you think so yeah 
does all things considered, and I don't want it to sway the vote. You Americans don't listen to Canada. We're just up here doing our own thing. But with that being said, it's just like you have that dichotomy because Trump being a male, white, uh, older, he follows the con- the Wild construct. Old as shit. Yeah, he follows the construct of being a traditional presidential um, figure. When you have a situation status challenging status quo, like look at Obama for example, he had to go through a lot of stupid shit, and there's a lot of stuff that people don't know about. Everyone's singing be like first black president, blah, 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 right? But there's a lot of stuff he had to do in order to kind of maintain his credibility for him to finish his campaign and do do his term. So you know there 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 there's some stuff under, and I feel like Camilla's probably going to be influenced by the same thing, being like we can't let the world. Um, go on the impression that we're a weak nation especially when it comes to them being on the global stage you have china sitting there and being like yo we want to go to war and we want to retake back taiwan and um all that sort of stuff and they will bomb japan which in proxy is the united states in order to start shit russia's looking for an opportunity to kind of blow off they're sitting here and being like they're sitting here waiting they're like like it's like one of those things where it's just like they're just beating out on ukraine and being like hey America, where are you? We're waiting. Like, do you really want to see me take this country out? Like, they're taking forever to beat down a small little nation like Ukraine and like all that sort of stuff. So it's one of those things where it's just like uh, on the global stage, there might be a conflict for her to like a lot of people in the Pentagon be like, Madam President, we have to show our strength. We have to let the people know that we aren't a country to mess with. And they might be like, okay, fine. You know what? Like, but (laughs) in let's start some shit. Disco but ball comes down. But that's the thing, though. If we're looking at the script as the script that it is, like Kamala won't be able to necessarily ratify all of the the Republicans into that. She'll have the biggest. She'll have the biggest pushback in the sense that her own, like her own, her, her own department in the sense of being underneath uh, underneath Biden has literally pissed off a lot of her generals. No, but they've I've seemed weak. But I'm saying the Democrat, because remember, the the power that happens in the states is different than Canada. Yes. It's not like the leading party or the dominant party gets to do what they want to do. It's one of those things where they're like, here's a bill. We have to go to Congress. They sit there and they vote and they do that sort of stuff. Yes, the, you, the president has the ability to write things in and sign stuff off, the veto ability. But in all earnest, they have to go. So if they sit there and say, hey... I need to split the vote and get the other side on board. They're going to be like, all right, cool. You'll get my vote, but there's a high probability that I'm going to sit here with another bill saying we need to go to war. So I'm going to need your party to kind of get on board. So I need you to convince some people on your team to be like, yeah, sign off on the war so we can do that. So like, they'll probably improve on healthcare. There'll probably be something where it's an interest rate minor, uh, uh, like hike. They might forget a, forgive some kind of humanitarian bullshit but then they're gonna be like yo probably we're gonna have to set an example to one of these people them on it so take take your poison either we go after russia we go after china or we go after like the palestine israel bullshit we sit here and use force to kind of be like listen we want you to stop fucking around this is uh impacting our day-to-day we don't like we don't want to worry about this. We got our own problems. So like, figure it out, or we're gonna sit here and drop like freaking fly a bunch of drones in here and drop bombs on you. But I think that's the reason why Trump is going to be the next president because he's already given his go ahead and saying that if I'm in office, I'm ratifying all of this. That's my first decision. Yeah, but there's a lot of Americans that want to keep their country like lackadaisy and fun and whimsical, but they don't want. A gl- on the global stage, they don't want them to seem weak. So it might be a situation where Harris gets voted in to keep things kosher at home, mm. but start some shit outside. No, I agree with you, but I just think it may be the opposite. Like, in my personal opinion, the world sees America as the victim now. So you're going to need a ratifying president that doesn't take any BS. You're going to need somebody who stands openly in I'm yes, it se- it seems a little bit of a joke, but realistically, you're gonna need somebody who literally would look a crazy guy like Kim Jong and the rest of China in the face and say, Bro, I'll go to war with you. 
I'm not playing Trump with likes you. Kim Jong. Yes, but I'm just saying in a sense that he, him and Chairman Mao may not have the, be uh, the best relationship, and that's the beef that they're really going to have to settle into. I'm just saying he's as he's as um, straightforward as necessarily you can get as an American. He's not going to gravitate in any situation. He's not going to pull back. Man, I feel like it's going to be a situation where he calls all the people and it's just like, all right, Putin, you say you're not going to go to war, right? Okay, so if I get voted in, you're not going to start some shit because I'm not about that. Okay, you know what? And then he starts shitting. You're like, you promise me like, well, well, Trump, it's just like, I like, boom. <laughs> like it's it, it's like we can't predict the future it's well we've been pretty right a lot of the times but like it's just like we're, we're sitting in a situation where it's both parties are not necessarily great for the country but they're the only choice you have so i'm thinking that it's in a situation where americans have had a lot of joe biden they they're terrified of an america an, an america led by joe biden and when they see Kamala Harris, they see Joe Biden. They don't see a separation between the two. But they didn't have a problem with Joe Biden's policy. They were just having a problem with how weak he seemed because a lot of the stuff he took forever to do, including getting dressed. So, like, it's one of those things where they just didn't want a weak president. They didn't have a problem with any of his policies. He said that he's going to provide military support to the Gaza issue. Mm -hmm. He said he's going to do a bunch of stuff. He, he constantly says the right things. So if she's adopting his roadmap, for the United States for the next four years, in earnest, it's advantageous if people are are satisfied with the Joe Biden policy to put her into effect because then you actually get an additional eight years of that bullshit. Yeah, she but what I'm saying to you is, is yeah. that there's a there's such a pushback of people dropping out of that. Like realistically, the early voters are. The Democrats. And this is the one where he trips up the stairs. Yes, yes, it is. <laughs> I, I mean, it, it's it, it, like the the vote. Yep. <laughs> 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 yeah. Timber. I mean, the early voters are the uh, are, are the Democrats. So they're the ones that have the polls. So, so hey, the, the polls should be way ahead. On a side note, if you are um. Uh, uh, a company that makes those things, if you can figure out a way to put an escalator on those yeah, kind of stuff, Air Force One will buy it from you Yo, just Air to Force prevent that shit. Yeah. Because then he can just sit there and do the slow wave as he goes up the stairs. Yeah. Bro. Oh, oh, watch this, watch this. He's like, yo, I'm good, fam. Oh, gone. <laughs> and he's out. And then he's putting, he's putting on like, well, what's the old man cream that Bang you put on? Bang Yeah, he's in the back like, you know, I have to rub out, rub on it. Oh, my hip. Oh. Uh, oh. See, oh. see, see, it, it's that company that's upset when he, he coughed out. She's like, fuck, we can't, we can't do like airdrops to the president now because he's like off, off, off the freaking, um, the bill. But anyways, uh, Biden, you're putting your time. You know what? Uh, you're doing better than most people, so good for you. Uh, but at the end of the day, it's just like whatever. You ain't no Wesley Snipes, so go sit down. <laughs> I mean, the biggest the biggest issue that is is America's confidence. Like you got to think about this way. Like we've all said it. Trump, when Trump was in charge, he was the the stock market was up. A lot of people felt that false confidence to think that America was in a better place because realistically, Trump is entertainment. Like Kamala's realistically the serious and the most straightforward one who's going to focus on the issues. But realistically, do you think the American people care about the common issues when it comes to actually, or do they want to be? Bro, they can't, bro, they can't even figure out whether or not they're male or female in the state. So stop the cap. It's all entertainment. So, so that's why I'm saying I think it's a Trump-led market, bro. But, I really but, think it's a Trump-led market. But Camilla is the one who will sign off on those rights. Those people need a reason to kind of create all their bullshit. Remember, I'll, bro, if, if you guys don't see me next week on the episode because they came out. <laughs> um, with that being said, a lot of the gov government policies are smoke and mirrors that are designed to distract us while protecting the well-being of the constituents. So even this with the whole shot and all that shit stuff. Yep. It's one of those things where it's just like, yo, you need to get everyone involved in that. Because a lot of people, they saw Trump come on the bill. Think about it. All the people who were anti-Trump. They were sitting there and saying, there's no way that our Constitution will justify uh, 
like someone dealing with legal issues being elected for a president. And then that kind of got thrown out the window. Right and like, out the window. Well, now I'm actually going to have to show up for a vote and hope that my common man can do the 51%. So even this whole situation where it's just like a failed assassination attempt, like I'm not saying it is what it is, but it's just like, bro, like most people, like you can't be gun happy in the States and miss such a critical shot. Like you got his ear. Like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> My bad said a like, whoa. Whoa, 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 like, whoa, 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 break that down. My man says, yo, you can't be a gun loving nation and can't even hit a man. Like, damn, son. Like, like, are you, damn, son. Are, are, like, are you, serious. are you fucking stormtrooper? Like, how did you miss the <laughs> yo, shot? Like, I'm not condoning him supposed to get shot. I don't want that stuff. That's why I live in Canada. So, you know what? We deal with our situation by saying sorry to each other. But I mean, with but that being said, to that though because yeah. there is a like i'll add it to the video so we can add it to post but there is a um there's a podcaster i watch or, uh, i watch and he is a sniper uh, gun instructor and he breaks down the entire situation he says that there is far too much inaccuracy in the entire event for it to be real he says first off the shooter was found up to 10 minutes before he took his first shot he says that makes zero sense because if it had the Secret Service, even a police officer with any form of training would have handled that situation differently. Right. Then there's the second part of them, him shooting. There's the whole angle of Trump turning around and uh, and like him getting grazed in the ear and everything else. The first the, 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 the first thing is, is like that means that he was shooting in an area where Trump wasn't. Mm -hmm. that means that trump had to necessarily turn like turn away from that shot meaning that he wasn't even going to hit him in, like if trump didn't move he may not even have hit him so that's the second thing and then the third thing is the effectiveness of not trying to take him alive like he didn't multi like they, they didn't shoot to maim they didn't shoot to capture they shot to kill him so quickly that there was no evidence gathering i mean when you when you do an attempt on the president that's the protocol so yes the secret servers secret service did what they're supposed to do they were activated appropriately but prior to there was a lot of lollygagging and like for that like i even told my dad when um all the shit went down i was just like the the <laughs> the uh, y'all can't stop dying. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry. <laughs> that's America no, in that's a nutshell. America, no, that's America, and it's in one shot right there. I swear to God. <laughs> sorry. So no, don't be sorry. It's funny, but with that being said, it's just like, um, fuck, I forgot my point. Oh yeah, no, it's it's just. For her to go and be like, I'm gonna resign. I told my dad he's gonna she's gonna resign. Mm -hmm. No investigation will be there. No president would be comfortable being like, Oh, you know what? I'm okay. So the fact that you allowed somebody to take a shot, shot on me, you me. still got your job. No. Like companies no. fire people for less. less. Yeah. Way less than that, bro. Way less. <laughs> I mean, there's also far too much extra evidence. Like there's a picture of a woman in the background of the shooting being far too like regular she like the, the president just got shot she doesn't black an eye in the entire time she's got her phone out just recording that's what i mean like, like there's like there's so, so many instances many where it's just like yo like fine if uh, 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 like even those people that are in the crowd i'm quite certain to be like yeah you know what like for you to see somebody and you know they say see something so to say something like bro they're sitting there screaming and being like there's somebody on the roof mm -hmm. like 10 like prior in, to the in, shot in, like in, in, in this insane. world this where is we how have I would and they're able to drop Morbid bombs facts. Part three. on like people like on the other side of the planet and take out certain people with such accuracy. Look how many. What's his name? Just got killed the other day. Like um, what's the, fuck, the brown dude. I don't. I don't understand. Like it, it's just one of those things where it's just like we live in a world where someone can be like, "Yo, we have to go after Krishan," and they can dispatch a drone and take him out with accuracy, while the rest of us are just sitting here and being like, "Yo, what the fuck happened?" And then you're telling me it, it, it in this scenario, like, sit in the mic, Rex. Stole the money. 
His Thank you. Off, his mic's off, but sorry. So, so you you have that guy Solomon was taken out, and the point of the matter I'm saying not the guy who took the shot, but the simple fact that they didn't have the additional support like drones or whatnot yeah. available during the presidential thing. Think about it. Trump is the previous president. Yeah. There's such security details on pre like. I His feel Clinton has head. a better detail than Trump. No, so, like, right. bro, like, I mean, think about it. You are correct because, like, realistically, Trump to the ear. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> how many people were there telling the Secret Service that? Yeah, that, I tried that to get Solomon Marley, and lunch meat came up. My <laughs> <man>. <laughs> oh, no, you already know salami. Salami. Yeah, I tried, bro. <laughs> ew, like, brother. But, ew. Uh, what's that, brother? <laughs> ew. I mean, it's just like it's really terrible in a sense that it's it's either a joke on one side in the sense that it was an attempt on the president's li- a former president's life, and would they secure Secret Service took it as a joke, or the shooter was such a joke that nobody took him seriously and then it ended up ta- being a shot anyway and both sides are a joke because realistically you can't have people who are witnesses screaming there's a guy on a roof and you don't act yeah man it's like that's just point so, blank forget the shooter because the shooter could have screwed up a thousand times over that's not what we're talking about the fact that you have active people on the ground pointing their cameras at somebody on a roof about to take a shot at the pre- at a former president of the United States and something wasn't done right at that moment says it all. Right? And like for him to be like, yo, I fired out two shots and I know I'm going to be down, bro. Like like you should have emptied your clip. I know there's all it's, it, it, it's a sniper rifle <laughs> oh but on God. average there's yo, like five Rose shots. Savage mode today, yo. Yo, Rose like flat out saying, yo, if boy was going to take two shots out, he should have at least drained a Clizzy. Like, yeah, yo, yeah. Rose no, out here today, bro. No, I'm only saying that because we had the Vegas shooter. He sat there and before they were able to catch up to him, he was able to get out 20 shots. Mm-hmm. Right. And or sorry, kill 20 people like it's one of those things where other events happen. And like, but are we discussing skill versus like an adolescent idiot shooter? Because realistic. No, sorry. Here's the joke. That guy's a Republican. Before everybody start jumping down the wave of like the shooter being like, you know, an anti-Trump guy. He was actually a Trump supporter. That's true. So that's the crazy part. Like the story makes no (laughs) sense. That's the best. That's the yo, best yo, that's that's the best one right there. We gotta go with that one. <laughs> we gotta go with that one. American so. kids trying to get all of exams. <laughs> Anyways, from where we sit on our like ivory tower up in Canada, because we're the best. Um, I mean, you know, like we still get sh- we still get shootings down here, and somebody did try to shoot at Parliament a couple years ago. Right, well, I can't burn up the spot. Hey, shout out to Rutgers in New Jersey. You know, I'm gonna be out there probably at the home opener. You know. That's it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, <laughs> He's like, I don't know yet if you want to oh, give me free I'm tickets. So shout out to Wrights University, the Owls. You know, you know, I was wanting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I right, continue on my bed. <laughs> <laughs> but shout outs are legendary oh, right now. And the University of Minnesota Golden Gophers. If you know, you know. All right. You just want an honorarium from one of these. You know what I'm saying? Like he just want he wants honorary seats. In the press box. No, you want he wants a diploma so he can have something to put up on his wall. He just like, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's it's a little insane. We live in an insane time, and like in my personal opinion, like Harris has got a lot of work to do just due to the fact that she should have already had an early lead because realistically, her demographic, the one that's going to show up for her voting, already home. They're the ones that are usually the early pollers. They're the ones that usually. Do you remember that a lot of her constituents are black? We're not showing up for anything. We're gonna be no, late. but we're gonna be not. late for the polls. No, you better tell the polls open at ten so they can show up on time but up for one o'clock. Not true though. <laughs> but that's not true though. She's responsible. <laughs> she's sing- bro. She's single handedly responsible for helping lock up more black people in, in the Clinton generation than anybody. She's not being blacked by black people. That's what everybody's missing. The blacks in America are running to Trump because of Kamala Harris. I don't know. There's a lot of them that don't know their history, right? They don't know. They don't know not about no books. No, but that's what I'm saying. That's not what you're seeing online. What you're seeing right now, and you're seeing the breakdown right now, is literally people, only upper echelon people who are literally pushing out for for come. But the average common person does wants nothing to do with her. When they see her, they see Joe Biden. They see his lazy principles. They see the fact that they have been in a terrible recession. They see that they're not making money. That's what they see when they see her. And realistically, when they see Trump, all they can see is that little bit of money he gave them in the, in the time when they were going under lockdown. 
adding to the fact that the stock market was up and it was entertaining. So she might lose just off of sheer perspective off the fact that she can't she can't speak to the people's like hearts the way Trump will. Man, we'll find out when November. Yeah, yeah, around November. Cool. Well, so, yeah. I mean, so if Camilla wins, my birthday's in November. So send me a bottle of alcohol. If Trump wins, just send me a cake. Just send me something. Yeah, 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 we got you. Either way, either way. <laughs> send us and don't so, forget to like, subscribe, and old. share, Real and man. tell your friends, and make sure you hit the the, the button Give so the you can thumbs see us. Up, yeah. Tell your friends, like, subscribe, share, like he said. Don't forget. Oh, we already said don't forget to subscribe. Not that. And we got tons of episodes. Yo, like, oh, all about the dance hall things, vibe cartels. <laughs> what do you mean? I, got, uh, I got the shirt on. I got the glasses. I got the hat. I'm ready for the beach. Yo, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. That's okay. You know what? I'm going to.